Aditya Sanskrit, Aditya lit, sun, pronunciation or Aditya L1 is a spacecraft whose mission is to study the sun. It was conceptualized by the Advisory Committee for Space Research in January 2008. It has been designed and will be built in collaboration between Indian Space Research Organization and various Indian research organizations and will be launched by ISRO around 2021 initially planned in 2019 or 2020. Topic. History It was initially envisaged as a small 400 kg, low Earth orbiting satellite with a coronagraph to study the solar corona and was approved by Government of India in 2008-09. The scope of the mission has since been expanded and it is now planned to be a comprehensive solar and space environment observatory to be placed at the Lagrangian point L1. An experimental budget of 3 crore Indian rupees has been allocated for the financial year 2016-17. Topic overview The Aditya L1 mission will be inserted in a halo orbit around the L1, which is about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. The 1,500 kilograms class satellite carries a total of seven payloads with diverse objectives, including but not limited to the coronal heating problem, solar wind acceleration, coronal magnetometry, origin and monitoring of near UV solar radiation, which drives Earth's upper atmospheric dynamics and global climate coupling of the solar photosphere to chromosphere and corona, in situ characterizations of the space environment around Earth by measuring energetic particle fluxes and magnetic fields of the solar wind and solar magnetic storms that have adverse effects on space and ground-based technologies, Aditya L1 will be able to provide observations of sun's photosphere, chromosphere and corona. In addition, particle payloads will study the particle flux emanating from the Sun and reaching the L1 orbit, and the magnetometer payload will measure the variation in magnetic field strength at the halo orbit around L1. Topic. Payloads Visible Emission Line Coronagraph VELC, Coronagraph creates an artificial total solar eclipse in space by blocking the sunlight by an occultor. This telescope will have capabilities of spectral imaging of the corona in visible and infrared. The objectives are to study the diagnostic parameters of solar corona and dynamics and origin of coronal mass ejections using three visible and one infrared channels, magnetic field measurement of solar corona down to tens of gauss. One wants to study the dynamical changes in the sun, why the solar atmosphere is so hot and how the changes in the sun can affect the interplanetary space and Earth's climate. The ejecta and the particles coming from the sun can affect the Earth's environment, called space weather, one need to predict that while studying the variability in the sun. VELC payload weighs nearly 170 kg Pi Institute, Indian Institute of Astrophysics IIA, Solar Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope SUIT. SUIT will observe the Sun between 200 to 400 nanometers wavelength range and it will provide full disk images of different layers of the solar atmosphere by making use of 11 filters. The Sun has never been observed from space in this wavelength range. The spacecraft being at the first Lagrangian point, suit shall be observing the Sun 24 by 7, without any interruption. The payload is being developed under the leadership of Prof. A. N. Rama Prakash and Prof. Durgesh Tripathi at the Inter-University Centre for Astronomy and Astrophysics IUCAA, Pune in collaboration with ISRO and other institutes. Suit payload weighs nearly 35 kg. One of the major unsolved issues in the field of astrophysics is that the upper atmosphere of the Sun is a million degrees hot whereas the lower atmosphere is just 6,000 degrees. In addition, we have not comprehended that how exactly the Sun's radiation affects the dynamics of the Earth's atmosphere on shorter as well as on longer time scale. 
There are multifold advantages of observing the Sun in this wavelength range. On one hand, we shall obtain near simultaneous images of the different layers of the Sun's atmosphere, which shall let us study the ways in which the energy may be channeled and transferred from one layer to other. Using suit observations, we shall also be able to shed lights on the origin of energetic events occurring on the Sun's surface such as flares and coronal mass ejections. On the other hand, the radiation from the Sun in this wavelength range governs the dynamics of the Earth's atmosphere, for example, formation and dissociation of ozone layers. The ozone layer is of particular importance as it blocks the UV radiation coming to the Earth and saving us from having skin cancer. Although solar radiation in this range is a very small fraction approximately 8% of the total solar radiation, it varies by about 60% over a solar cycle. The suit observations will help us unravel the mystery of the cause of these variations. Pi Institute, Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics IUCAA, Pune. Koi Institutes, Indian Institute of Astrophysics IIA, Center of Excellence in Space Sciences India SESI, IISER Kolkata, Aditya Solar Wind Particle Experiment Aspects, to study the variation of solar wind properties as well as its distribution and spectral characteristics. Pi Institute, Physical Research Laboratory PRL, Plasma Analyzer Package for Aditya Papa, to understand the composition of solar wind and its energy distribution. Pi Institute, Space Physics Laboratory SPL, VSSC, Solar Low Energy X-ray Spectrometer Solexes, to monitor the X-ray flares for studying the heating mechanism of the solar corona. Pi Institute, ISRO Satellite Center ISAC. High Energy L1 Orbiting X-ray Spectrometer HEL1OS, to observe the dynamic events in the solar corona and provide an estimate of the energy used to accelerate the particles during the eruptive events. Pi Institute's ISRO Satellite Center (ISAC) and Udaipur Solar Observatory (USO) PRL magnetometer to measure the magnitude and nature of the interplanetary magnetic field. Pi Institute Laboratory for Electro Optic Systems (LEOS) and ISAC. Thus, the enhanced Aditya L1 project will enable a comprehensive understanding of the dynamical processes of the Sun and address some of the outstanding problems in solar physics. <laughs> <laughs> 